hi all today i am going to be walking you through how you can make any canva template your very own uh, directly in canva so canva has a huge template library and oftentimes we look at the superficial the superficialness of the template itself and we say well that's not really on brand for me so you skip by it but in actuality if you like it you can make it your own and i am going to show you how to do that right now in canva Okay, so here we are in Canva and I'm going to walk you through step by step by step how you can take any template in Canva and make it your own. This is going to save you so much time. So let me just get to it. Step number one, head over to the template section in Canva. So you're going to open up the template tab and you're going to do nothing but find a template that you love. I don't care if you think it's off brand. I don't care if you think I can't use this because it doesn't really look like me. I'm gonna show you how to make it look like you. So the first step is to just find one that you absolutely love. I'm digging this one. This one seems absolutely fantastic. It is so super modern minimal. What if my brand were moody vintage, like the total opposite? What if it was like all dark and moody? Well then how do I make this template work for me? I'm glad you asked. Let, let's dive in and I'm gonna show you step by step how you would change this modern minimal template into something that could work for your brand if you were modern, if moody vintage. So step number one is to change the font. This is a very modern font. So what we're gonna do is head over to the font section and I'm gonna type in serif. Serif means that the font has those little feet on them. They're more decorative. So you're gonna understand as soon as I choose one. Um, that one looks good, that one looks better. Okay, so I've changed the font and you can see that there's these little feet on the ends of them which make it look more classic, more high-end. Um, more vintage. So change it to serif and I'm going to leave that for now because I don't know what I want to say yet. Um, and now I need to find a moody photo. So I'm going to head over to photos and I'm going to type in moody. I've already done it, but moody. And then I'm going to search through all of these photos until I, until I find one that I want to use on my um, Instagram account. And I've already pre-chosen one just to make things easy and I'm gonna pop it in okay now I can make this look even moodier so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring down let me move myself out of the way I'm gonna bring down the transparency a bit of this image and it's white the background is white so what I want to do is head over to the color tool and make that black so that it really does look moody and it's a little bit darker a little bit more edgy and I'm gonna do the same for this guy I'm not going to bring down the transparency on this guy. I'm going to edit the image and I'm going to bring down the brightness. So it's a little dark. And then I'm going to add a vignette, which is just a frame around the image. And I'm going to do the same thing for this as well. It just really draws the eye into the center and I really want everyone staring at that leaf. Now I'm going to move this up a bit and then I'm going to change this to like something like be unique. Change it to, let, let's go white, white. I'm going to adjust the spacing so it just takes up a little bit more room in the template. And I'm finding that a little bit hard to read, so I'm actually going to reduce the transparency of the image behind. And I'm going to change the color because it doesn't seem to be dark enough. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to change site to mine unique realty this is not really my site i'm just pretending and change that to white unique realty.com and we have we went from a modern minimal template to a moody template in what less than a couple minutes so anything that you are can you can use any template in this library meaning that you have all of canva's resources with their designers available to you with just a small few tweaks just change the font change the color set the tone with the photos that you choose and you are good to go my friend so if you are ever stuck on creating something for canva or canva creating something for instagram and you think oh my gosh i have so much to do today i have no idea where to start this is where you can start it is a super simple process that works every time and um, it is yours to use. I hope that was helpful. Happy designing. See you next time.